Hello, you lovely people on Drinks Tube. Jamie Oliver here, and we are going to make, not a Bloody Mary, a Bunny Mary. I know what you're thinking, but it's Easter, right? I think this is like a little expression on how you can take the principles of that brilliant classic recipe, the Bloody Mary. Have fun, you know, yeah, what's up, duck? You know, we're going to have some carrot juice instead of the tomato juice. We are going to chill down our glass, first of all. Always nice to do that. We're just going to load our shaker up, chill down with that. Very simple ingredients, okay? We're going to go 100 mils of carrot juice. Colour, you know, that lovely, lovely flavour is going to be great. We're going to then go in with 50 mils of beautiful vodka. So I've got uh, some lovely thyme here. You can get orange thyme, lemon thyme, this is standard thyme. Just a couple of sprigs. The flavour in here is locked up in oils. So if you just run that under a tap of hot water, you're going to smell that flavour much, much better. And this is essentially a cold infusion, right? So we're going to go in with a couple of sprigs of thyme. Uh, then we're going to go, you know, the typical stuff, a few shakes of Worcestershire sauce. I'm swapping out typical Tabasco with Chipotle Tabasco, smoky flavour going in. So, you know, same but different, right? And we're just having fun with that. A nice pinch of pink peppercorns. Again, it's gonna be a cold infusion, so only delicate elements of that flavor are gonna come through, but it's very fragrant and obviously a little spicy. Uh, I'm swapping lemon out for uh, lime, and just under half a lime, 15 mils roughly. A little pinch of salt, okay, because it's sort of sweet savory. Um, a little bit of pepper, because I always season with pepper when I season with salt. We're gonna go in with the ice. I forgot this. If you don't know what this is, this is fresh horseradish. Sorry guys, I'm not concentrating. Um, so I, this fresh stuff is lovely and hot. Look what comes out, it's fantastic. So we can use it for garnish, uh, and you can use it in this kind of wonderful cocktail cold infusion. Uh, I'm gonna take a nice pinch like that off. If you're using uh, jarred horseradish, don't go for the creamed horseradish. Just go for the grated horseradish in a jar. It's in all the supermarkets, so don't stress. I'm gonna go for a little bit more. I like it spicy. Okay. Other way around. Double sieve action. And look at that color, guys. Look at that color, amazing. We can now have a little bit of fun with garnish. Life is too short to be serious, right? A lot of people don't know, but this heart bit here is the most prized bit. Uh, I'm just gonna cut that in half and then in quarter. So in with the celery heart, then let's just have a little bit of laugh with our carrot action. Why not? We like a little bit of roughage. Big old pile, horseradish, and then even a couple of peppercorns on top. Have a look at that, guys. This is the Bunny Mary. Absolutely delicious. Oh, spice, balance, heat, and actually the horseradish on the top is amazing because it gives you, when you smell horseradish, it makes your eyes kind of water up a little bit and it makes you taste more. Oh yeah, you've got to do the grated horseradish, it's brilliant. Um, there you go, the Bunny Mary. Bonkers, but brilliant. I absolutely love it. This Bunny Mary's like my hair. It's like, it's insolent. So guys, if you want to check out more Bloody Mary recipes from the family, then check out uh, the Red Snapper Bloody Mary. That is fantastic, uh, really, really good. Also, we have a barbacoa Bloody Mary that I did, and it's absolutely amazing with barbecue sauce. So one cocktail, many ways. Check them out. If you haven't subscribed to Drinks Tube, please subscribe, it's free and we love it. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>